Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some stone block how you guys doing today I hope you are doing well last episode we made the auto sieve and the auto hammer I haven't used it a whole lot but I've got it going right now trying to get some eulorium to speed up our lava production uh, today we're going to be working on power stuff um, I have been still messing around with chickens 10 10 10 them oh finally got one of them um, our supplies you, you know for the time that I've got put into these chickens is about the same time that I put into sieving and stuff like that in order to get any kind of resources but let me tell you we've got a lot of stuff uh, these are all filled up 16 of the 10 by 10 by 10s uh, I've slowly been working our way through all the resources using what I need first to get through some stuff uh, and then going to the rest of it but as you can see we've got lots and lots of stuff uh, come back here we've got more this room's going to be expanded uh, on out uh, here's the issue that we run into I don't like using all these black hole units um, I would like to use a black hole controller but that's where we have an issue we need pink slime and before we can get to pink slime we need to get into some of the industrial foregoing machines we got to make the slaughter factory and to make the slaughter factory and run it to get enough slime for anything we need power so today we're gonna work on generating some power so yeah, I've got, we've got, you know, all of our basics covered. Sand, uh, flint, wood, which we've got wood over there. We've got wood running out our ears. Coal, redstone, um, dime or not diamonds, but the gold chicken is here. These do gold nuggets, which kind of sucks. Uh, but if we come back here to my little setup, I have one of these analog crafters where the gold nuggets are going in. Uh, they're craft into the gold nuggets and then go out So I've got that going on um, We've got diamonds obsidian Everything we need to get into the refined storage that we're going to be using this time around um, So now it's you know, it's it's a matter of doing some of this stuff So we are going to work on power and the power that we're going to use at least starting out We're going to work on environmental tech And I need to learn how to spell it. I always forget how to spell it. Uh, we're going to make some of these solar panels. Uh, we're going to set them up inside of the mining dimension where we can get some day. We'll set up a way to transfer the power back here and we'll set up some power storage. Uh, everything that we're doing, well, I've done the solar panels before, but as far as power storage and stuff like that, it's all going to be new stuff. So first thing we need to do is make a bunch of these lithorite crystals. Uh, we're going to need a load of them. We need uh, blocks. Whoops. Forgot to turn that off. Um, we need blocks of them, which is nine crystals. So yeah, we, it, it's, it's a lot of stuff. But that was some of the first stuff that I set up here to do. So we should be all right in what we need as far as being able to do it. So that should give us quite a few, four stacks, beautiful. <clears throat> so we're going to need these photovoltaic cells. We need some lapis, we need some quartz. We'll go ahead and make a bunch of those. We're going to need probably more than that before we're done with. We're going to need at least four blocks. We need some more lapis. And 
and we need the tier one solar panel which needs to interconnect oh what is this is this easier to do than it's more expensive to do black concrete or just a modifier component that's actually black concrete anyways these are just iron and redstone we gotta figure out a way of making concrete black concrete powder is easy enough we need hydrate or something different I hadn't used before might look at that I know we've got the fluid transposer that might be a way to go all right so let's get some black dye have I made the black chicken yet I, I have not I have a black chicken why I didn't put them in anything I don't know that's all right we can just throw them in one of these right quick and get all the ink that we need that should work at least for the moment some sand some I had that backwards some gravel and some sand wait I don't want to do that putting that in there and black concrete powder there we go all right now let's see if we can find this hydrator terracotta clay water buckets it says fill this with water so it can infuse blocks okay put that there let's get us some concrete or not some concrete oh man I've lost my mind this morning we need redstone and redstone's all back here there is our dropper we need clay, we need terracotta. We're gonna need a bit of iron because I don't I don't know where my buckets are. I can never keep a hold of buckets. Alright. Oh yeah, um Speaking of quest book, I run the reload quest. Um, didn't do it after the last update. Um, it added just one new quest, but it has changed it to where there's just one loot chest to be gotten instead of there being several. Makes our choices a little easier as far as what to get. And I've got terracotta in here somewhere. Aha. And now all we need is a iron block. And that should be everything we need for it. Beautiful. Give me my buckets back. So this takes power to do it. We need to move it. We'll automate this uh, for now. Why is it power going that way? I don't know. 
always on. So it doesn't use a whole lot of water in order to do that. Beautiful. So now it's just a matter of it getting enough power. Actually, that should be enough for us for what we've got to do. All right, so we need some more iron, some more redstone. Back to our solar stuff. Interconnects, we need to make some of the connectors. Oh, let's just make them all. We're going to need them anyways. And there's those. There is just two. What did we run out of? We run out of redstone. That's all right. So we need this right here. That will give us our solar panel tier one. We need to make our assembler here, which is easy enough. And this will tell us what we need in order to do it, or to make it. That's not what I wanted. I need obsidian. And, really? Let's get rid of that. All right, so we need full not four null modifiers, 16 structure frames, and nine solar cells. We need eight solar cells. So we need eight more of those. We need four of the null modifiers which are just interconnects glass and iron and our structure frame tier one is just more interconnects all that stuff so let me get all this stuff made and then I will be back all right so we are back I've got everything that we need for the solar panel next up we're going to work on the power transfer and basically the power transfer and the power storage. For that, we're going to use Flux Networks. I have used the Flux Networks for power transfer. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, need a plug, you need a point. You can send power across dimensions, wirelessly, all that stuff. Uh, as far as power storage goes, I have not ever used this before. So that is going to be something a bit different. So we need... Well, hey, there's all my buckets. To get us some flux. Should be able to... Probably going to need more than that. Alright, so, to do this we need these flux cores, which is a bunch of obsidian, a bunch of flux, and some eyes of ender. Good news is, is we've got all that stuff back here. Pretty soon we will have all of it in storage. So we need some ender pearls. We need some blaze rods. I don't need that many blaze rods, I don't think. Uh, and we need some obsidian. Alright, so. We need flux cores. That is most all of them. All right. We need to make this. We need these flux blocks. Now we can use three or six of these. We'll make the second tier. I think that's what I'm going to go for. think that is the plan. I need some glass. I don't 
know what happened. There we go. And we have enough for two. That is nowhere near enough. And what is it? Oh, it takes six blocks to make one. So six blocks. How many blocks is that total that we need? So we need six of these, so it's 36 blocks. That's a lot of stuff. All right, let me get all this stuff made. All right, we've got one Herculean flux storage. We're going to start our power storage stuff back here. We're going to create a new network. Now, I don't know. We want transfer limit off. I don't know if this will automatically transfer in here or if we need to set up power or set up a point on it. But I do know we need to make those. So we're going to need a handful more of the cores. Oh, we've got cows and stuff spawning. Oh, wow. speaking of cows, I need to show you all this. Uh, I have set these up to where they're automatically being milked. We have, I have a rancher with no upgrades in it. Uh, so it's just doing the spot in front of it. Uh, I've got the survival generators powering them because it doesn't take a whole lot of power to do it. And then just having them going up into these quantum tanks here. Now as far as from there, how we're going to do it, I'm not sure. Um, but this is how we'll probably set them up at least until we get some better sources of power. But I've got, you know... A stash of coal over here being filtered into all these to keep them powered as we go it doesn't use a whole lot of power it'll use maybe one piece of coal a partial piece of coal every time it milks these things so uh, we are loading up on these uh, loading up on those fluids and one of the other things I want to work on is getting a mob spawner set up with these so we can get the cows that we want so that is a thing that I have been working on. Alright, so we need a flux plug. And we need a flux point, which we need some redstone for. Beautiful. Oh no. Okay, that was weird. Alright, so, we should have everything we need now to go and do this. One thing I do want to do is sleep, which I have yet to make a bed. We've made it this far without a bed. That's energetic wool. It probably won't work with this. So, string... That's enough. Just enough. Let's get us a bed. Let's make it daytime. And let's head to the mining dimension. Beautiful. All right, we are here in the mining dimension. I'm gonna set this up. Let's just go ahead and set it up right here in the same chunk that we're already in. We will chunk load this area. And Five hundred forty-nine RF tick. Now that's not a whole lot, but it's not necessarily bad considering how much stuff that we've got going on right now. No limit. Let's go see if that is. Uh, filling our network up. Uh 
Uh-oh. That can't be good. That's probably going to cause me to crash. So let's go back here, and it is filling up. It's filling up pretty quick. We'll be able to run all we've got going on right now through this right here. Beautiful. All right, so our next bit of business, we've got a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and work on this slaughter factory. Not really that hard to make. We need to make a machine chassis. We need some tools, iron tools. We need a gold gear. All this stuff should be fairly doable. Uh, what am I in here looking for? Oh, I know what it was. Um, right here, plastic. We're going to need some redstone, some iron, a little bit of gold, and let's get this thing here made. So there is our gold gear. Beautiful. We'll make this machine case. because it's easier to make. So there is that. We need a few sticks. We're gonna need more than that, I do believe, because we need two iron swords and two axes. So there's that. That should be everything we need to make it. Beautiful. We've got that. I need some fluid pipe. I think I've got some still left. Right here. We're going to need some storage for it. And this is going to be overkill on storage, but the thing is, is it's actually cheaper to make these quantum storages than it is to even make a drum. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, we've got enough iron. I need my bag. Get us another bucket. There is some storage for it. Beautiful. And now I gotta clean up. This thing's still going nuts. Alright, so right in the middle of this thing we're going to open it up we'll place this down we'll give it some power it's got power we're going to need Put that there. We'll put a quantum tank on this side with the insert. Extract always active. We will let this go. We'll let this one fill up with meat first and then we will set up one for the pink slime. But while we are waiting on that, we got to wait, need a way to move these guys. And I think we're going to use vector plates. So 
So we need some slime, which we've got. We need some sugar, which we've got. And we need cobblestone and iron, which we've got. And we need cobblestone. We need stone, not cobblestone. Alright, so, vector plates. Are a got. Should have already got stuff in here. Beautiful. So I need to place these down. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Push them just to right there in the middle. We ain't got a whole lot of stuff spawning in here, so we should have enough to take care of what we need here. And we'll do this for just a little while. I don't want to get rid of our loot bag production, I just want to get a bit of pink slime. So we can get into uh, our material stonework stuff and stuff like that. All right, so let's let that go. Let's get, wait, see if we can get us a bucket of pink slime, and then I will be back. All right, we are back. Should have enough pink slime. I do. Uh, had to sort of, I don't call it cheating, but it was essentially cheating. Uh, our mob farm's just not very big. Uh, we got to work on that. I had uh, took some of our chicken eggs and went and spawned in a bunch of chickens and got to where we needed to go. So we've got our pink slime. Next up on the business is we want to make a entrapment tool. Uh, we're going to try to make a spawner out of it. Not going to do it this episode. This episode's long enough. Next episode, though, we will take care of doing that. So there is our mob entrapment tool. And let's just go ahead and make a little hole right here. And we'll see if we can't get us a pink slime to spawn. Sometimes it doesn't take very long. Sometimes it takes forever. So, we're going to wait on that. Alright, he has spawned. And we've got a pink slime. Beautiful. And that's all for this episode. Uh, next episode, we will, we're will we going to redo our mob farm. We're going to make it a little bigger. Uh, that way we can start collecting some uh, mob essence. So we can start spawning stuff in that we need that we can't get out of here. So, we've got a couple quests to complete here. One for the water. And then we've got one for the survivalist generators that we were using. And I think that is all we've got. I know I haven't got into either one of those. So, loot chest, more black lotus. And more flask of adrenaline. Well, we're going to have plenty of black lotus to get started with uh, botanium. So, but that's it. We've got a zombie head on. I didn't even know I put that on. Uh, we got power. Matter of fact, show you this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want 
tutorial. There we go. I don't even know how I just done that. Our power's full. We're generating way more than enough power to take care of anything that we need. So, we're going to start using it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.